welcome, and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Ananya Patia with your hedge fund headlines. Today's Friday, December 11, 2009. Private equity fund of funds manager Advac Management and China's Dali and United Holdings have jointly formed the first non-government fund of funds in China. According to Alt Assets, both the firms agree on a letter of intent to inform the yuan-dominated fund of funds. Zurich-based Advac and Dalian will share ownership equally. Dalian United is an investment management holding company that serves the financing, leasing, guaranteed banking, and private equity sectors. Peter Santoro, head of institutional markets at Citadel Securities, an investment banking unit of Citadel Investment, has left the firm. According to Bloomberg, Chris Boas will run the Citadel Securities credit markets business, having served as head of, su of structured credit at Citadel's hedge fund business. Santoro had joined the firm in mid-2008 and was responsible for overseeing a broad expansion of its security sales, trading business, and managing a team of, inve of investment banking deal makers. He had joined Citadel from Citigroup, where he was global head of equity trading. And in more hedge fund news, GLG Partners has unveiled the GLG Global Equity Taxile Fund, which will deploy capital to existing management terms. According to Hedge Fund Alert, it will distribute capital to teams across five portfolios, relative value, emerging markets, volatility trading, financial services, stocks, and pan-European equities. The $22 billion London Hedge Fund manager's new group will be handled by David Sanders, co-manager of the GLG Financials Fund, and Warren Towen, who conducts behavioral analysis of the firm's European equity traders. Investors will be able to withdraw on a monthly basis with 30 days notice. The United States House has voted to increase a tax on income earned by, by private equity and venture capital firms' executives. According to Bloomberg, the House is seeking to more than double the private equity taxes in order to pay for the renewal of tax breaks. The proposal will tax payments known as carried interest as ordinary income with a top 35% rate. The move will renew 45 tax breaks due to expire December 31st, including a research credit that businesses use to hire workers and tax benefits for restaurants, retailers, teachers, and college students. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our hedge funds channel online and read the full stories and latest developments.